Hi guys, it's Jessica D1987 and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really quick, simple and delicious barbecue sauce from scratch. If you hear noise in the background, my children are up in their playroom as well as Baby Justice is in the baby carrier attached to me, so please bear with me. So, in this pot here, I'm going to turn it on medium heat. And I'm going to add in, I'm going to have the ingredients listed in the description box as well as the directions to complete this. But really quickly, I'm going to add in two cups of ketchup or you can use tomato sauce. So add that right in there. Make sure you get it all. Mom! Yes, baby. Okay, thank you. Oh, then you're going to add in two thirds of a cup of water. Okay, I'm back. So, so far we've added two cups of ketchup or tomato sauce, whichever you have, two thirds of a cup of plain tap water. And now I'm going to add in my spices and I'll have it listed in the description box. You're going to go ahead and add those in. I'm going to add in five tablespoons of light brown sugar or dark if you have it. Five tablespoons of white sugar. A half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Okay, lastly, I'm going to add in the liquid ingredients. And if you hear Baby Justice crying once again, she just got surgery yesterday on her fingers. So please bear with her and me. So you're going to add in about a tablespoon of raw honey. I know, Mama. You're going to add in a tablespoon of molasses. And about a teaspoon of liquid smoke. It's only like 90 cents at Walmart, so it's a really good buy. A little bit goes a long way. And a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. You're going to let this simmer for at least one hour on low. And then when it's done, you can store it in the refrigerator for up to one month. You can use it for chicken, for uh, grilling. You can use it for ribs, which we're using that for tonight. You can use it in your homemade baked bean recipe, which I will try to post a video showing that recipe in the future. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, guys. So this is what... The finished product looks like I covered it and let it simmer on low for about one hour. You need at least one hour and it will thicken and reduce and this is what it looks like. And this is homemade barbecue sauce. It has no preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup so it's healthier and cheaper for your family for you to make it at home. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. And if you do, please request uh, do a video response or leave me a comment and let me know how you guys liked it. Take care and God bless. Bye, guys.